Howdy class. Welcome to a screencast that's going to introduce you to how I screencast just in case you ever need to do this or want to do this. You might find it very useful, um, but the primary purpose is to show you how to use Google Docs. So I use a uh, product called Screencast-O-Matic. Um, you can use it for free. I have the pro version because there's some features to the pro version I like, but if I were you, I probably wouldn't pay any money for any of this stuff. Um, but what you can do is it's a, you don't have to have software on your own computer necessarily, um, cause this is web based, which is uh, a nice feature. Um, and so anyways, what you can do is just start it up after you have an account and then you select what it is you want it to record and click start recording and it starts recording. Um, and then I'll show you at the end what you do at the end to, um, well, I'll be able to show you part of the end um, that will allow you to see how you stop doing what we're doing. Um, but anyways, my goal is to um, show you how to work with Google Docs. And so the first Google Doc that you're going to be working on is for the pulse speed um, lab report. And so I posted a link to the one I want you to start with. And so that looks something like this. And so what I'd like to point your attention to is the title up here, because that's one of the first, well, let's talk about the first thing you need to do. Um, you can view this, but I haven't given you permission to edit it yet. And so what you're going to want to do is to go to File and then choose Make a Copy. And don't copy Document Collaborators. And I just clicked OK. And then now you'll notice that it says Copy of Pulse Speed Laboratory Report. And you notice how I put in the team name of Weaver, 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 and Weaver. Um, so what you're going to want to do is, again, at the File menu, Rename. And first, get rid of the Copy of. And then um, go ahead and change to the names of your team. And click OK. Now it does um, automatically save, um, supposedly. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, then what you're going to want to do is go through and um, set this up because one of you is going to need to start this. So whichever one of you starts this, that what you're going to want to do is add the other people in your group as editors. And so you go to the share button and you see it's private to only me, only you can access. That's a default. And then what you're going to want to do is add the other two or three people that are in your group. And you notice it says notify, notify people via email. Um, so you want to leave that checked. And you notice it says can edit. And what you can do is that you can just start typing their name. Or if you know their MEID, you could type their MEID. So let's just say that you wanted to add me. I just started typing David and a bunch of Davids come up, but you know, I come up first because I'm who I am. I, well, I'm in my account, so it knows me. <laughs> so anyways, let's just, uh, David, um, well anyways, what you would do is you would then keep on typing um, until it was unique and you notice how it starts to narrow down, but you notice also there's a number of David Weavers. So you, if it's a unique, unique name, you won't have as much trouble finding people. Um, possibly the best way to deal with this is just to contact your classmates and you can use the um, Blackboard email and just you can look up for individual users what um, people's email addresses are. You can email them and ask for that. So anyways, 
we'll get done with that. Let's just assume that I've added all the people I want to, and then I'd go ahead and say share and save. And you want to use the Maricopa um, email address of everybody so you won't get this um, message because the david.weaver is outside. You know, I, that's a whole other story. But you won't see this, so don't worry about it. So I'll click yes. And so you'll notice that I am now added here. Ideally, when you're done adding your other team members, all of you will be listed here and you'll see can edit. And so I'm done. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is go to share. And then now up here where it says private, change that to anyone with the link and the access allows anybody else that you give the link to can view this and so you'll leave that and then we'll say save and then we're done so we can see here but anyone with who has the link can view and then it'll be a list of whoever owns it plus all the other people that can edit it I hope that all made sense if not post a question on Blackboard um, so then what you will do is you'll go ahead and start putting in team member name purpose, apparatus, procedure, etc. And this acts pretty much like a Word document. Um, Google Docs also has spreadsheet kind of stuff and you can play around with mixing and matching of all of that. Um, you can also insert images and so if for instance um, you have a graph that you made in a, a different program, what you could do is capture it as a screenshot, save it as a picture, and then any kinds of pictures you can insert the images. Um, you can also do drawing equations and so this is something for you to play around with their special character. So there's you know quite a bit of power here, um, but I think the biggest power is that this allows you to collaborate on one document with teammates and you can actually be editing it simultaneously. So when that's all said and done, then um, you'll work on this and what you'll ultimately be doing is posting um, the link to the document, you know, and it's something after you've shared it so anybody can see it then um, you'd be able to copy the address of this and be able to um, put that on Blackboard in the assignment so that I can have uh, access to it. Now I've gone on for about eight minutes which is plenty to get you started. Um, and so what I'm going to do, and you won't be able to see what I do after I do what I'm about to do, but I'm going to click a done button and then it's going to allow me to save it in a variety of ways and you know I can either download it to my computer or I can upload it to YouTube which is probably what I'm going to do so that way I can embed it into Blackboard. Um, so good luck with this and I will see you in class. Bye bye now.